Picture this, it's a quiet evening, and you find yourself nestled in the coziest corner of your living room, bathed in the soft glow of your vintage television set. The year is 1944, the world is embroiled in the turmoil of war, yet a timeless story unfolds before your eyes. A black and white masterpiece by the name of Going My Way graces the screen, and it's your very first encounter with this cinematic gem. As the credits roll and Bing Crosby's mellifluous voice fills the room, you are transported to a simpler, more innocent time. The tale of Father Chuck O'Malley, played by Crosby himself, and his heartwarming journey to breathe new life into a struggling parish in New York City resonates deep within your soul. The film, filled with poignant moments and unforgettable characters, has etched itself in your memory. Maybe it's the harmonious choral performances or the endearing relationship between Father O'Malley and the curmudgeonly old priest, Father Fitzgibbon. Perhaps it's the poignant lessons on love, faith, and the power of music to heal even the most broken spirits. Now, as you sit back and reminisce about that fateful evening and the magical impact of going my way on your heart, let's dive into some fascinating random facts about this timeless classic. Going My Way is a 1944 musical comedy drama film directed by Leo McCary. It stars Bing Crosby as Father Chuck O'Malley, a young and unconventional Catholic priest sent to help a struggling parish. The film explores themes of faith, community, and the generational gap as Father O'Malley's progressive methods clash with the conservative ways of the aging pastor, Father Fitzgibbon, played by Barry Fitzgerald. The movie is known for its heartwarming portrayal of the relationship between the two priests and its delightful musical sequences, including Bing Crosby's rendition of the timeless hit Swinging on a Star. The film's unique style lies in its blend of humor, drama, and music, striking a perfect balance that resonated with audiences. Going My Way was a major success, earning several Academy Awards, including Best Picture, and further cemented Bing Crosby's status as a Hollywood icon. It also sparked a sequel, The Bells of St. Mary's, and left an indelible mark on popular culture, reminding us of the enduring power of compassion, understanding, and the universal appeal of a well-crafted song. In the 1944 movie Going My Way, there's an interesting fact regarding Father Fitzgibbons, a character played by Barry Fitzgerald. In the film, Father Fitzgibbons mentions that he has been a priest for 45 years. However, this claim raises eyebrows because Barry Fitzgerald, the actor, was only 56 years old at the time of filming. If we do the math, it means Father Fitzgibbons would have entered the priesthood at the tender age of 11. This curious inconsistency highlights a quirk in the film's storyline, as Fitzgerald's actual age doesn't align with his character's history. Moreover, Going My Way achieved remarkable success, partially owing it to its memorable soundtrack. The film featured the Oscar-winning tune Swinging on a Star, a song that became one of the major hits in Bing Crosby's recording career. This catchy song not only added to the movie's appeal, but also left a lasting impact on Crosby's musical legacy. In a lesser-known side note, actress Jean Heather, who portrayed a young aspiring singer secretly married to Jean Lockhart's son in the film, had a brief yet notable career. Paramount had been grooming her for stardom, and also cast her as Barbara Stanwyck's stepdaughter in the 1944 Paramount hit Double Indemnity. Unfortunately, Jean Heather's promising career was tragically cut short by a serious auto accident in which she suffered severe head injuries, limiting her to just 10 films. These interesting tidbits shed light on some lesser-known aspects of the 1944 movie Going My Way and the people involved, making it more than just a classic film. It's a reminder of the quirks and stories that often go unnoticed in Hollywood history. The 1944 movie Going My Way was a remarkable film in many ways. One intriguing fact about this classic is that Barry Fitzgerald, who portrayed a Catholic priest in the movie, was actually a Protestant in real life. This oddity becomes apparent when you observe the film closely. At various points in the movie, when Fitzgerald's character performs the Catholic ritual of making the sign of the cross, he does it incorrectly, moving from right to left instead of the customary left to right. Going My Way holds another distinction in the history of cinema. It was the first film to ever win Oscars for both Best Picture and Best Song. This dual triumph highlighted the movie's exceptional quality and the impact of its music. In addition to these achievements, director Leo McCary made history of his own with the film. He became the first person to win Academy Awards for directing, 
and writing, specifically in the original story category for the same movie. This dual recognition underscored the exceptional talent and creativity that went into creating Going My Way. These unique aspects of Going My Way showcase the film's enduring significance in cinematic history. It's a testament to the unusual talents and accomplishments that converged in the making of this classic. Going My Way, a 1944 movie directed by Leo McCary, was filmed in St. Monica Catholic Church near the beach in Santa Monica, California. McCary based the character played by Barry Fitzgerald in part on the church's real pastor, MSGNR. Nicholas Keneally. This heartwarming film made history by being the first to win Best Picture at both the Academy Awards and the Golden Globe Awards. It was also the one box office hit of 1944. Following its success, a sequel titled The Bells of St. Mary's was released in 1945, which was an even bigger box office success. Going My Way was released by Paramount, while Bells of St. Mary's was an RKO radio picture, both directed by Leo McCary. In conclusion, Going My Way remains a classic film with an interesting backstory about its filming location and real-life inspiration for one of its characters. It also holds the distinction of being the first movie to win top awards at both the Academy Awards and the Golden Globe Awards, making it a significant part of cinematic history. In 1944, the movie Going My Way topped the list as the highest grossing film in the United States. This heartwarming film, directed by Leo McCary, featured Bing Crosby in the role of Father Chuck O'Malley, a young priest sent to help a struggling parish. The film's success was largely due to Crosby's portrayal of the compassionate priest and its feel-good storyline. Regarding the claim that Going My Way was banned in Latin American countries because Bing Crosby wore a white shirt as a priest, there isn't substantial information to support this. It's possible that there may have been individual cases of censorship in certain regions, but there is no widespread evidence to confirm this claim. One notable fact about the film is that Barry Fitzgerald received dual Academy Award nominations for his role in Going My Way. This unique achievement saw him nominated for both Best Actor and Best Supporting Actor. Ultimately, he won the Best Supporting Actor Oscar for his performance, making it his only Academy Award win. In conclusion, Going My Way was the top-grossing U.S. film of 1944, largely thanks to Bing Crosby's role as Father Chuck O'Malley. While claims of its ban in Latin American countries due to Bing Crosby's attire as a priest lack substantial evidence, it's worth noting Barry Fitzgerald's exceptional dual Academy Award nominations for this film. His win for Best Supporting Actor remains a remarkable highlight in the history of the Oscars. As we bid adieu to our cinematic journey through the heartwarming 1944 movie, Going My Way, I hope you find yourself not just at the end of a story, but at the beginning of a reflection. This timeless classic has an uncanny way of weaving itself into our lives, much like the threads of a cherished memory. What resonates with you from this delightful film? Is it the mellifluous tunes that awaken nostalgia in your heart? Or perhaps the poignant exchanges between Bing Crosby's father O'Malley and the endearing characters of St. Dominic's Parish. Maybe it's the universal themes of faith, compassion, and the enduring power of music that strike a chord within you. I invite you to take a moment and revisit your own personal connection with Going My Way. Was it a film that your grandparents introduced you to, or did you stumble upon it during a lazy Sunday afternoon? Have you ever found yourself humming swinging on a star in the most unexpected of moments? This classic movie has a way of touching each of us in a unique and personal manner. I encourage you to share your thoughts, memories, and musings about this cinematic gem. Let's create a space where our collective nostalgia and insights can breathe life into the legacy of Going My Way. Thank you for sharing this cinematic reverie with me. Your time and interest are greatly appreciated, and I look forward to hearing your stories. Until then, keep the magic of going my way alive in your heart. Warm regards, and remember, it's all.